Hey, how y'all doing? Let's get into this video. I hope everybody doing good out there. Today, we finna be changing the belt, the dick belt, on a brand of 30 cents compact more. On my belt broke, I was doing a job, I hit a root, and then my dick was too low. So I think the blades had stopped, the belt spinning, and when the back blades started to catch back up, it snapped the belt. So that's what we got going on. The belt still in here, we gotta take the belt off, put the new belt on. I ordered the belts from the dealership at Bradley's Moore. It got here in two days, that was fast. Every time I ever ordered a part from them, it came right quick. They were, if anything you need with the more, they got it. They supposed to have that dealership. Um, I went on and ordered two belts, just in case I have a spare one on, on hand. Right now, we gotta take this plate out right here. Take the plate out. But yeah, the motor been pretty good. Been having a good outcome with the yards. So we gotta get this off here. That come on. Get to the side. And here go the belt. Wow. So you can tell the belt snapped. It looked like it did in like three different places. So you gotta take this pulley. This is the pulley. I already loosened the tension up. You gotta take this tension, you gotta loosen it up. You gotta take this screw off this pulley right here. Because you gotta take this. It's like a router. It helps the, the belt stay on. So you gotta keep. You got to take that off to get the belt off. So I'm going to take this screw out. I already loosened it up. Take this off. And I use this wrench to do it with. I kind of already had it loose for y'all. Because I've been waiting on the belt for like a day. Maybe a day, two days. You can tell the, the belt is snapped, especially right here. As it was going, it it popped. Yeah, here go the spin loose. I should have been able to get up in them with my phone. That's the clutch plate that you got to put the belt on. That's in the back back there. You got to put the belt around that and the spindles. And here go the guy that I was telling you about. They're gonna be in the inside. Show you how to put the belt on. And you gotta take these off. Loosen this up so this can go up so it can get slack so you can put the belt around the back and ride right around the front. And then we're gonna tighten it back up. Get it back tight and then tighten the top part. Tools, I jumped the step, but this is the tool I use to get it out. Take this screw off and loosen the tension up. Here go your pulley that goes on like this. But I'll show you when I get ready to put the new belt on. Okay, here go the new belt. Pretty long belt. I think this is like a five eighth. You can't. Only place I can find this belt at is the dealership. It's a five eighth. There you go. There you go. Okay. What I'm going to do, put this belt. It's going to go around this back part in the back. So you want to push this up. This pulley, you want to get the tension all the way loose.
I'm gonna take this side plate off. Okay, you can see that route that built on the round the spindle. I still gotta get that back, pour it on the clutch plate. And then you see everything will be tight. Then I'm gonna tighten this tensioner back up, get the belt tight. You gotta make sure the belt can, don't be too tight and it can't be too loose. If it's too tight, it's gonna wear out quick. If it's too loose, it's gonna slip off, snap. You gotta take these plates to get to the side. Okay, now you see that we gotta put this belt on here. My fault, yeah. I'm twisting it on here. I got it almost on, as you can see. It's not on my way. Just twist it like this. There you go. Now we on our way. Now we can see what we got going on. Make sure all the, everything is on how it's supposed to be. Gotta make sure that's on that bag so these belts can be tight. Then we finna tighten up this screw right here to get the belt back tight. I don't know, for some reason it's like this belt tighter than the last belt. It's crazy. Mm, okay. But yeah, and then we gotta put the pulley back over here, put the leveler. Put the, the guy. So now we got it on the hair thing tight. I sure was trying to get that spring on. If the spring had a piece that was coming out. Okay, you can see. Got it back through there. I had to push it up. But we got it on now. Yep, everything looks good, tight. Finna put everything back together. 
But yeah, this is my motion plate I put on here. Levels, choke, stop run, clutch, turn the blaze on and on, emergency brake. This is the panel I was telling you about. It's pretty comfortable. It bounces. And I had to take that side panel off to get to that clutch plate back down. Right there. Yep. Okay, we got everything back together. I ended up getting that part, that spring part I just was talking about. I had to use my big pliers. I squeezed it and got it caught back on there because it was coming off the tensioner. And I was afraid it was going to slip off as I hit, hit some and the spring was going to jump, but then it was going to pop off. So I had to make sure this on. The front plate back on. Got to put this back. This, then that side plate got to go back on. Yeah, I was trying to give y'all a quick video when I edited it. Kind of leave it on for like 15 minutes. And like I said, that's pretty simple. It was easy. The only thing I struggle with is had to take this unloosen this tension the screw back up to try to fix this spring right here to put it back on the um, tensioner. And then, you know, when I was trying to put the clutch plate, you know, you got to kind of turn it and guide it on just like how you put a chain on the bike. And if it's a tight chain, you kind of turn it on and it, it'll go on, roll on, and on. So that's how I had to do that. But I had to get it from the side, I was trying to do it from the front, kind of. So I kind of struggled with that. But this is a real easy job. It'll probably take about 10 minutes to do this. No more than 15 minutes. Tighten them up like that. Okay, go inside. That's good. Two washers. Come on, baby. There you go. It's young, man. That's so. I'm going to crank it up and see how, what it do. Make sure it all run, run properly. video up got everything straight I appreciate everybody for looking at the video like I said we put the belt on I showed y'all how to ride around the deck just had a little problem with the tensioner got that fixed everything sound good I crank it up started the blades and spent pretty good I think I might end up loosening up the tensioner a little bit but other than that, it rides pretty good. If you haven't,
please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be dropping more content. You can go on IG at Lung Care with Corey. You can go on Facebook, Universal Landscaping and more. Or you can go to my personal page, Corey D. Staples. Um, subscribe, follow. I'll be putting content out. I try to do it every other week. Right now, I've been kind of slow. When it get kind of busy in the season, you know, I'll be probably trying to do it every two weeks. I'll be dropping more tips, more videos to help y'all with y'all lawn care equipment and how to grow your business, how to scale your business, how to market, how to promote signs. I'm going to have a lot of stuff I'll be putting out there. So like I said, like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Thank y'all.